when they're fully confident, you get out their way. They know something, you know? Han Meditation. Hello guys, I am Han. This is Kelly. We are back with another video with our resident nomad, new age nomad. He's traveled all around the world. He just talked about his experience with being in Senegal, being in an all Muslim country. So we're going to get him to react to more videos as well. And we're excited about it. We're in our home right now. We're doing our home setup. So we're going to get the videos done wherever we need to guys. So trust that and believe that. Yeah. So we're going to do it. We're doing it for you guys. We hope you guys don't mind. We're also working on our live setup. So you, please enjoy that whenever that comes. We might even go live tomorrow while he's here. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. So let's go ahead and get into this video and we'll see how you like it. A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now speaking out after being defrocked because she embraced another faith. Today, Ann Holmes Redding calls herself both a Christian and a Muslim. But her move to Islam came at a very high price. Dan Harris reports on this woman's test of faith. Ann Holmes Redding was an Episcopal priest for 25 years until a radical test of faith. Several years ago, while she was mourning the death of her mother, she was trying out an Islamic meditation technique that she'd learned in an interfaith class. And that, she says, is when it happened. It came with such clarity and such power that I could understand it as nothing else but uh, an invitation from God. In fact, she says it was Jesus himself who led her to Islam. You think Jesus led you to become a Muslim? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're laughing. Because I know it doesn't make sense to people. Now, Redding not only prays in church, but she also prays five times a day to Allah. In Islam, Jesus is viewed as a prophet. Yes. Not as the son of God. Yes, you're right. So yours is a radical rethink of the Christian scriptures, a rethink that a lot of people would call heretical. Yes, and do, loudly. This spring, the Episcopal Church revoked Redding's right to be a priest. Being defrocked, I would imagine, was a pretty traumatic experience. Yes, that's, that's an understatement. To imagine not being involved intimately in the lives of believing people, helping them understand their relationship and calling, baptizing babies. It's a big loss. It's a huge loss. Redding admits she still struggles to explain her transformation even to herself. I am the one who's going to have to answer for this. I'm, I'm the one who's going to have to answer for what I've done with my life. And do you feel confident about that moment? It's in the best of hands. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York. Wow. Yeah. Now, that's interesting because I had a similar experience where I feel like Jesus came to me to work with God and to work with Allah mm -hmm. because, um, well, God and Allah are the same thing, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So because whenever I was, you know, going through my journey, I felt Kelly got in the message. We both felt the presence of Jesus and Jesus was like, you're not working with me and God enough. You need to work with us here. Mm -hmm. So and then that's when we started learning about Islam and all that. And that's really what led us on the whole journey where we're at now. And during that time, a miracle happened within my body as well. So it's just such an interesting thing. What do you think about that, the prospect that Jesus yeah. could lead you to Islam? Well, I, uh, <clears throat> it makes sense to me. And this is the, uh, the woman um, basically claiming she heard this basically through Jesus and, you know, we, we could, me and Han, I know we could understand this. We had, uh, for those who know me as the New Age Nomad, um, actually, it's, uh, it's funny that me and Han, actually, we share a relative who actually passed away, um, our aunt. But she, you know, as sometimes she said, I would hear the voice of God and I would hear Jesus talk to me. And this led her to make new business moves and important life-changing things that she needed to do in her life. And, and believe me, when she said she heard God, that means get out the way, let her do her thing, and don't even doubt her, because boom, like she's gonna put that into action, you know? And that's how people sometimes, they receive the message of God, you call it uh, being close to God. 
some people have that. So, you know, and and if we when they're fully confident, you get out their way. They know something, you know. Yeah. And she's guided to go ahead and go from Christianity to Islam to to be able to, to convert like that. That's her path, with all due respect, you know. Yeah, I mean, just that ending, that was so powerful when she he said, you know, whatever he asked, like, what do you do now? Or I wasn't that, but whatever. She's like, it's in the best of hands. You know, it's in the best of hands. And you can just see that confidence in her eyes. Like, it wasn't just, like, it was a knowing. Like, yeah. she knows it's going to be okay because she knows where oh, it came yeah. from. And there's just nothing like that. Yeah, I mean, there truly is nothing like that. And just having that knowing feeling yeah. because when you know, you know, you have to understand guys, there was no question in my mind that I was going to heal. There was no question in my mind that I was going to get better. It was an absolute fact to me because I was in communication with God the entire time. God was telling me, don't worry about it. And I remember the day God came to me and told me, Hey, you need to go to the doctor. You need to tell them to, uh, you need to tell them you have to get off. You have to get all, do less time on the machine because I was on dialysis. And I was like, this is like, I was like, I mean, I'm going to do it. But, you know, I'm, I'm a little nervous da, 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 you heard about it. God, Allah. Yeah, yeah. I heard God tell me this. And I was like, kind of like, whoa. And I feel that during the whole process, I always feel like Jesus is like my older brother. So I felt like he was there guiding me throughout the whole way, the entire experience. And but God was telling me, like, hey, don't worry about it. Go and tell the doctor. And I was almost thinking in my mind, like, hey, I'm going to do it, but I'm a little, you know, nervous, whatever. Like, it's just a uh, high intensity. Like, I'm going to do it, but you sure it's going to be all right. And God was like, look, dude, I'll be in the room with you. You go do your part. I'll be in the room. So don't worry about whatever happens after that is supposed to happen. I'm going to be in the room. Once I got that insurance, I was like, I'm good to go. So I went in there. I told the doctor, I said, hey, I want to do less time on the thing. And then I was thinking, like, he's going to be like, I don't know, you know, whatever. He looked at me and said, oh, that's fine, you know. And I was shocked. And they're all like, oh, he feels brave today, you know. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, no problem. So I did less time. Next test I got, boom, exploded, dude. They were like, I don't even have to be on it anymore. That's the power of God. Once you hear the voice of God, once you hear that, whether it's Jesus, whether it's a prophet like God, uh, I mean, like um, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Jesus, whoever it is, you have to take that as a sign from God. If it's an angel, whatever it is, you have to act on that, you know? Wow, man. And and that that right there, that's a whole nother video. But I know you've covered that before, your, your story, your testament. And also with spirituality and science, science and uh, modern medicine, that's another story, how we should merge that together. But anyway, yeah. with what Han's saying, that's, I, I resonate with that. That's, that's deep and true. But, you know, um, so what was I going to say? I mean, it's, um, just, it's just such an interesting concept. You just had to listen to God. You know, the, you, know sure you felt that before in your life. Yeah, and and um, I had one more thing to say about that. It's interesting. I kept telling Han, don't set it in stone with what the doctors are saying, but also there there has been accounts when sometimes there's something that the doctors have to put on paper where it's called miraculous healing. This has happened to a few people. Then they they can't always explain it when people walk out and they don't know how they'd healed. Maybe it's through their like you know like you said yourself empowerment God and Allah, but. That's what they had to put. And back to, so, to go forward. So, what were you saying? That's that's a really, really powerful topic. And I can go on about that. You know you can too, and oh, Kelly can. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, now, what were you, where were we? <laughs> so, I mean, basically, it's just the power of God. So, yeah. Kelly's connected to God. I'm connected to, get, yeah. to God. And it's just a powerful experience. That's why we want to share it with people so that they can be connected with God as well. That's why we're in our house doing this because yeah. it has to get out. I don't care where I am. I'm going to drop the videos, guys. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, where I am. I have to get it out. It's that important. When God calls you, God calls you. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I almost lost my life, dude. To me, is serious. I got to do it. 
That's why I'm so grateful and thankful to everybody that's been donating because I'm going to work hard for you. You donate one dollar, one cent, it doesn't matter. You're taking time out of your out of your day, money out of your pocket to donate it to our channel. So I can't stop. I have to keep going just for you guys. So thank you so much for everything you guys have been doing. Just you watching the video, clicking it, liking it, subscribing is doing everything. Follow us on X and Twitter, guys, Han Meditations. We always post positive things on there. And I just, I just, I'm so grateful to you guys. I'm so grateful to Allah. Thank you guys for being here and watching the video. We'll see you in the next video.